Hello, it's Munib here. In order to install Ruby on your Windows PC, you basically need three things. First of all, you need to download Ruby. You need a good text editor. It could be from like Visual Studio Code. It could be um, Notepad Plus Plus or anyone you find feasible. Next, you need to have Terminal. It could be from VS Code, Atom, or Command Prompt. Anyone you find feasible. First, we'll go forward and install Ruby. Install Ruby on Windows. Click on the first link, Ruby installer for Windows. This will take us to the download box. So in the download box, you need to download um, the version that is feasible for you. So I would recommend you to read this. So they said, if you don't know which version to install, go for this one, for the 64 bit. Um, currently I'm going for the most recent one, 2.7. This will take some time to download. Once the download is finished, you will have this Ruby installer. Just run it up, accept the license. Next, install. Yes. So you need to check this box for the development toolchain. This will take some time to run. After installation, this screen will pop up and make sure you check this box run uh, RIDK. Because this will uh, be used for installation of gems with for the C extension and moreover like uh, this is the tool chain that will be used uh, if, if in future you are going to work over in development of games or development of shapes or similar things. So click on this box and click finish. This window will pop up. So uh, which component shall be installed if unsure press enter. So we'll first go for the one base installation. This will take like around two or three minutes. This screen will pop up again, so you need to press three this time. You can go for the system update as well, optional, but um, you can go for three. This will take some time, okay? So if you are unsure, just press enter and this will uh, close the terminal. So now we'll move forward towards installation of Visual Studio. Download Visual Studio. So all you need to do is to download the Windows version. You can go for the Linux and Mac as well. Download the Windows version. This is downloading now. Since I have already got Visual Studio uh, installed, so I'll just be running setup again for you people. So accept the agreement. Ah, make sure you add this to the path. Install. It will take some while to down install. So once it's done, you can go for finish and Now we have installed uh, v uh, VS Code as well and the Ruby. So first of all, in order to make a simple program, what you have to do is to go to File section and then click on Open Folder. You can also make a new folder over here. So I have this folder initial program. Here. Uh, I already have a program, but uh, if you want to make a new program, you can go for this new file, then hello program. Dot make sure you go for dot rb. This will make the extension to Ruby files. So here you can go put hello world. Save this program and then. From the terminal section, you can go for new terminal. So this will redirect you to this path, initial programs. If not, you can uh, go to this path and then Ruby, hello, program. So this will run your first program. You can even do this by using the command prompt. Command prompt. So I'll just redirect this to the path. CD so into Ruby 
hello hello world. that's all for today's video